Today we're going to be underglazing and overglazing our clay teddy bear. You're going to start with a stick. Yes, that's right. You're going to paint the eyes with a stick. There's a pointed end and there's a cylinder end. The cylinder end is what you want to use because it'll make a nice round dot. Now dip it into the glaze. This is underglaze. This goes underneath the, the overglaze and we're just going to dab it one time and then dip it again. It's very important that you dip it again so that you reload it and on the other side just dot it right on there and do it close to the snout and far apart. And then you're going to take that little end and put it on the nose as well. So you have three black dots. Now just wipe that on your paper towel and that's as much as you have to clean that. Now we're going to use the underglaze that is color. Underglaze is just sort of like clay that's colored and it's nice and soupy like paint so that we can paint it on. Now we're not going to glaze the whole bear, just the details. I'm going to start with a little color in the ear and I just use the tip of my brush. Don't dip it all the way into the glaze because you'll get too much on it and then it'll drip and that is what we're going to do for the ears. I'm going to rinse and dry my brush and now on to the red to do the heart. It's always important to dry your brush because you don't want a lot of water in it. Then your glaze is gonna get watery and it's gonna drip in places you don't want it to drip. So make sure that it's inside that little indentation. Oh, I got a little bit of glaze where I don't want it. So I can scrape that off with a special tool. If that happens to you, just bring it up and I will help you out with that. Now, now I'm just gonna paint the ends of the legs, just where that little paw is. I start at the top and I just make a circular motion with my brush to get the outside first and then I fill it in. Make sure that you get all the glaze in the indentations of the little paw pads. And you're going to do one complete coat. So that, and let that dry a little bit. I'm going to rinse and dry my brush. Always do that. Now it already dried. It dries very quickly. So I'm going to start on my second coat. My second coat. I have to repaint everything that I just painted. So I did the pink. Now I'm going to do the red. Wash and dry my brush. And now the blue. And make sure that you get in all those little crevices. Now, believe it or not, I'm doing a third coat. Yes, a third coat. If you don't do three coats, your colors will be very, very pale. And we want them to be nice and bright. When this gets fired, those colors will even get more vibrant. So now I'm done with my three coats of underglaze. And then I'm going to put the caps on. Now, the, the little bit of glaze gets in the cap cover. So make sure that you match them up with the correct color. And... Then we're going to overglaze it. Now I'm going to dip it in this pink overglaze. The overglaze is the clear glass coating. I know it's kind of shocking. It looks pink, but when it dries, it's going to look like this. But the magic comes when it's fired in the kiln again, and it gets all shiny and glassy like this little bear. So that is how you underglaze and overglaze your ceramic clay bear.